Would you describe what's happening on the border as a crisis, given how these numbers are spiking so much? We- you know, I think the I, I really I'm not trying to be cute here, but I think the fact of the matter is we have to do what we do regardless of what anybody calls the situation. And the fact is we are all focused on improving the situation, on changing to a more humane and efficient system. And, and whatever you call it wouldn't change what we're doing because we have urgency from the president on down to fix our system and make sure that we are better at dealing with the hopes and the dreams of these migrants in their home country. Uh, Madam Ambassador, do you think it's a coincidence that as soon as Trump and his immigration policy were on the way out and Biden and his stated policy were on the way in, this historic surge at the border started? Well, first of all, one of the things I think is important is we've seen surges before. Surges tend to respond to hope. And there was a significant hope for a more humane policy after four years of, you know, pent up demand. So I don't know whether I would call that a coincidence, but I certainly think that the idea that a more humane policy would be in place may have driven people to make that decision, but perhaps more importantly, it definitely drove smugglers to express disinformation, to spread disinformation about what was now possible. We know that. If if the change in administration has brought hope, then from your perspective, is this surge good? I, I don't think that's what I just said. I think it's a reflection of how migrants feel at a particular time. I think what we are doing is making sure that we respond to that hope for people who need protection. We respond to that hope in a way that their cases can be adjudicated more quickly. But I don't think anybody would say that coming to the United States in an irregular fashion is a good thing. That's why I've tried repeatedly to dissuade people from from listening to those smugglers. Um, But we're going to try our best to do everything we can at each end of this in the United States, but especially in Central America and Mexico, to ensure we have safe, orderly, and legal migration. You've been telling migrants from right there for a month now, all the way back to February 10th, that now is not the time to come, but they are coming in bigger numbers every day. So do you have a messaging problem? Well, I would say that in the last administration, we had a morality problem, and uh, children were being pulled from the arms of their parents, and kids were being set, uh, sent back on a treacherous journey, and that's not the approach of this administration. So certainly we understand that means there will be more kids who are crossing the border. We made a policy decision that that was the right humane step to take. But I think it's also important for people to understand that the vast majority of people who come to our border are turned away, are sent back uh, to their countries. What we're talking about here are unaccompanied children. And what our focus is on is ensuring that there are uh, safe places for these kids to go that have access, where they have access to educational resources, health uh, and medical attention, uh, legal assistance as needed, and that we can expedite the vetting so that they can get to families and sponsors uh, where they can uh, have their cases adjudicated.